Hi there, Robin here from Expert Island, and today we're going to be comparing XLR cables, 100 feet of it, to the X-Vibe V3. Now, they were nice enough to send us a system, and we decided we'd do an actual sound test on it and check it out before actually doing a review, and well, I think they're awesome now. Uh, they are incredibly, incredibly useful and handy for everything in here, and they're going to be really handy for you if you're a DJ or somebody who does PA rental setups, any type of uh, event that you have to go out and do speaker setups or plug into a house system and you need something quick and easy. Now, most people are thinking wireless microphones. I'm not. I'm thinking more than just that. If I take this, I can hook this up anywhere. It'll take me a few minutes. I can run off the mixer, run to a cable, hook something up, get rid of the trip hazards on the floor, tape it all down with gaffer's tape, or I use these guys. Now, this is how easy it is. For trip hazards, no cable, no gaffer's tape needed, and no mess because, you know, people go, oh, be careful about that, don't worry about that. All you have to do is take this end. Now, you can have a wireless microphone. You can say, I'm going to plug that in there, no problem. Uh, you can do that, but then you need other equipment. You're back to those cables. Or you have yourself, and you probably already have one of these, a nice handheld corded mic. In this case, this happens to be a Shure PGA 48, and that's it. I just plug that in, turn it on, and off we go. We're all set. Now, you're saying, I've got wireless microphones. I don't need to buy another gear just to do that. No, way more than that. Now, if I take this out of here, and I needed to hook up some speakers, I need this speaker hooked up to that mixing board. Well, what am I going to do? Well, all I'm going to do in this case is take this guy, walk over here, plug it into one of my channels, now this could have been a mixing board, which it is, or it could have been a controller, if that's what you're using. Hit play. That's it. Now, this is so good that I can do this on the fly. Take it out of there. Let's say I needed to have it into my big setup here. All I need to do is plug it in to one of the inputs. That easy. Come over here, I've got portable amp plugged into a big pass of speaker. I've got my Line right here. That's how versatile it is. I've just gone full circle around the entire room, just like that. One, two, three, four different speaker setups, and I'm back at the camera holding the unit in my hand. Play right back into here. that easy. Now, of course, you know, like I started with, I started with a handheld microphone. You could do that. No problem. If you need to use this on a guitar, you can use a DI box. You can still run it through that as well. It's that convenient. Now, important to note that, I mean, let's say I have my two main speaker setups for my DJ gear, but then they asked me to have a speaker way over at the uh, entrance area because they're having a buffet set up outside and they want music out there as well. You set up a speaker, you lay all your cable all the way around. Here, you just grab this and go. Uh, if you need one extra microphone, you need a backup. There you go. Um, I think as a DJ or anybody doing any type of performance work or you're a mobile guy and you've got to set up your system and go and you don't want to get into all the cables and have to haul that around with you, buy yourself a couple sets of these. Incredibly, incredibly inexpensive for what you get. They're like 200 bucks in the States. Give or take a couple of bucks everywhere else in the world, but that's really what it is. So what we'll do is we'll take it back to the table We'll really talk about the technical parts of it, but I thought, you know what? You probably want to see how it works first and give you, a, give you an idea. From this point on, there's going to be a link down below on our site. So at any point in time, this is worth going to Amazon and buying. That is for sure. So let's take a review of the whole product in detail up close at the table. Okay, so here we are back at the table and I've got the X5 U3 right here. Now again, box is incredibly nice i mean i'm not a big fan of unboxing things and that's okay uh there's other people who do that a lot and that's pretty impressive but 
if you are buying it for somebody else and you want to know exactly how it's going to show up you're definitely getting your money's worth when it comes to the packaging so they do give you a lot of great details the most important part is that things we want to see for safety purposes are here like the fcc and all the other little logos all located on the back but again a lot of people have done that let's get through this part here there we go there's the box that's what it looks like so we're still digging in very nice finish by the way so and don't get me wrong i like unpacking things i can just never seem to get anything open there we go oh it's a tight box now i've already we've used it i've already unpacked it several times and repacked it uh, but i did want you to see it comes in a very safe package nice safe package look at that Two pieces right there now the box underneath accessories as it likes to say are located under the foam block so you take the foam block out now of course i've unpacked it so there's something was in a plastic bag there is an english instruction manual that comes with it gives you a lot of great details and i learned an awful lot by reading that and that was a good thing that's the case that i like a little pop case and in this bag came the cables which are here I took them out. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, and then there's warranty cards and stickers and all that kind of stuff in here as well. And that's all part of the package. Like I said, you're not buying the box. You're buying what's in the box. And that's what we have here. So these are the key elements that you get with the unit. Now, this cable is very nice, practical. They do use micro USB to a USB. There is no charger, but you can plug this into anything that's USB. Plug these guys right into the side. Do, do, do right here just like that and charge them up you can also probably power it as you're going along uh, so this way if you need them active for a longer period of time I, five hours is good but if you need them longer by all means it's a lot easier to plug a little cable from here onto a mixing board or onto a back of a speaker if you have a usb port and run it that way that's a pretty smart way to go but all right so that being said we're going to put this aside because yes it's nice to know we can charge it up but i have an expectation that we're going to get that the units themselves, right? I was saying earlier, very solid, all molded up, metal, plastic, all did, all done, sorry, excuse me, very, very well, which is what I like. Uh, it has a button here, so this way it locks into place, because of course, if we're gonna use it on our microphone, we're gonna wanna lock that in. Uh, it also comes with six channels. So there's a little button here, so when I turn this on, I can cycle through six channels. Uh, nice part is, is like I said, a lot of equipment is moving to 2.4 gigahertz uh, simply because of the way regulations and broadcasting and all that kind of stuff's changed over the years. That's where they want all this stuff, and that's where this is located. So again, nice fit finish. Buttons and lights to indicate what's going on. So when you have it on, you get green indicator telling you it is on, and that also tells you that it's matched. So now we're good. It means the same numbers on both of them and we get a green indicator. If I'm off by one number, this indicator is going to turn off until I get it back on the same number. Now I could change it on either one and it'll come back on for me. That's what's going on right there. Now, a lot of people like using it for microphones, so that's why I have this hooked up. Yes, I have a corded mic here hooked up to this mixer, line one. I turn it on, I get the big voice on here now and we'll be turning off the body pack here in a second so you get just the actual microphone. So here we are. This is a cable test. This is, of course, I've got the effects on, so we'll turn that down. Big voice, of course, and now just the regular voice. So here we are. That's what we have hooked up, and now what I'm going to do is unplug this and plug that guy in. Turn the body pack back on for a moment. So how we're going to do that is pretty simple. If I'm running it off a microphone, you heard it on the speakers. Uh, if I'm running it off a microphone, I'm going to need to plug this guy in to here. Unplug this. We're going to plug this into here. And that's the little clicky part that's going to make that connection right there. So once we have it in, there we go. Make sure you give it a good rock. There's a rubber washer right at the bottom here. 
that's so it doesn't wiggle around, but it does mean you do have to give it some force to get it to click. I don't need it to click all the time for everything, but if you're actually going to hand this off, you do want to make sure you get that solid in there. So now all I got to do is bring this guy back up. Now, just for sake here, I'm going to put my headphones on just so this way I know we're going to be all set. So there's the microphone on there, and I do have to make one adjustment. So what I did there to change the overall audio was I actually turned on the, uh, I had to put it back in mic mode because the last time I used it was back with the speakers and I had it set to line mode to do that. So now here we are, we're back all set up. I've got the EQ set exactly the same on both of them. Uh, we can actually put the low cut on the actual mixer and the reason why I'm doing that is because we don't need to hear the background ambient noise. Keep all the other channels off and now we'll pan it so this way we now have left and right going on at the same time. Makes a bit of a difference, doesn't it? So that's what we have here as a microphone. Uh, we're running it pretty hot, so I am going to turn it down just a little bit. And we'll probably have to find a magic spot because, of course, I have this hooked up to this mixer. This mixer is hooked up to my main mixer that runs with the camera. So there we go. So that's what it sounds like when I have it hooked up here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the body pack off. And there we go. So now we're only going to have the one mic on. Yep. So now we only have the one mic on. And there we go. All set, ready to go on that one. Like I said, I think it's a great, wonderful way to have a quick, wireless, really good performing system in a single package. Now, there are benefits to having a cord. Uh, and that is, you know, cord is always going to give you the utmost best performance. Uh, but the most important thing here is that wireless is convenient. Uh, the amount of drop and lag and in quality is minimal, minimal, uh, something you're probably not even going to notice or recognize. But the conveniences way, way outweigh uh, any inconveniences you might have from anything else. Um, I certainly always recommend a wireless and have a wireless system that can be used either way in place of an actual cable, not just in place of a corded mic is even better. Again, really, the biggest things, I was looking at the instruction manual. Uh, I'd like to review that, because that's usually where you find some, some cool little tricks and things like that that you can learn about the system. And that's the, you know, in this case, the maximum input levels, right, for a mic and for line. And this is what reminded me to really talk about a lot of the feature of the receiver only has one switch on it, which is the power switch and one button on it, which is basically for cycling through the channels, which is cool. You know, that's, you know, it, that's our, that's receiving, that's the equivalent to our mic cable input. So if I was to, you know, go over here, that's the equivalent of this guy here, right? So that's our, our XLR cable. That's our male connection point. And that's okay that that's only a mic because I can plug that in. And as long as I know it's a mic, I can work around that. Now here, this is the transmitter. So this would be the part that connects you to the microphone or to any of my equipment. Now this is switchable between, it has one extra switch on it between mic and line right here. So I can treat it as a line input or I can treat it as a mic input, which is really gonna define how much power this is gonna be happy to take. Big, big important feature there. So remember, no matter what, this is always gonna be treated like a mic. This though can be treated either as a mic or as a line. So anytime that you have that option, it's always a good thing. This allows it to not just be a replacement for a corded mic to a cordless mic, but it allows it to replace the actual cable itself. So the big icing on the cake is we're not trying to replace this guy. This is to replace this guy. So I'm gonna invent a new word, wireless cable. Cable? wireless cable. That's what's happening right here. Now remember, I mean, I'm using it with a controller and I've used it with other things, but you can also, if you have this as a controller, any controller, by the way, any DJ controller, you're going to see you've got two line outputs in the back. That's how you normally hook it up. You run your 50 foot cables. Remember, we're not replacing wireless microphones. We're replacing cables. I can take this, plug this right in the back here. If 
I have a second one plugged in the back there, I can go throw these on the speakers. Job done. I mean, now I have a very cool looking and smart and quick, easy setup, which is what I like about these things. So it's not just, you know, the feature, but all the benefits of not having a cord between everything. So there we go. I don't know what more I could say about it, except we're going to be using it a bunch more times here. And if it's featured in any other videos with some of my other products, which happen all the time, I'll make sure I note it so this way you can see how often this kind of product actually gets used. Uh, but for now, we'll call it a wrap. Remember, there's going to be links for this down below. Uh, we'll have, in this case, two links. We're going to have a link right back to the factory's website. So this way you can see and learn more details about that. We'll have links to where you can get it in Canada, links to where you can get it in the U.S. Plus, we'll have, of course, our Amazon links down there as well. And that's it for now. If you haven't subscribed, please take the time. And remember, i like to take the time to thank X-Vibe for actually sending us the U3 to try out and play with. Uh, I'm glad they did. It's certainly one of those nice products that uh, is nice to see come through the door. And, you know, you play with things all the time. Um, and you're always skeptical uh, about the quality and craftsmanship, but this definitely passed the test. Again, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.